The willingness to learn, to be involved, and to help out the agricultural industry is what qualifies Lynn Corzine for this year's Alumni Association Award of Merit. As a 1972 Ag Mechanics alum and member of the Farmhouse Fraternity, Lynn has remained closely tied to the college through his friendships, service, and time. A fifth-generation farmer and leader in the agricultural community for the past two decades, Lynn has served many roles including president of the National Corn Growers Association and the Illinois Corn Growers Association. While serving as the NCGA president, Lynn helped shepherd the Renewable Fuel Standard and the Federal Energy Bill through Congress. And Lynn remains on the USDA Advisory Council for Biotechnology. Lynn maintains a great dedication to ACES despite his busy schedule. He has given generously of his time to the Turner Hall Transformation Project, tirelessly seeking funds on behalf of the college. And since 2014, Lynn has served as the college's carrot rep and an advisor for the Dudley Smith Research Initiative. As one nominator said, authentic leaders have insight, demonstrate initiative, have impact, and exercise integrity. By these measures, Lynn Corzine is definitely a leader worthy of this year's Award of Merit. The story of our next recipient of the College of ACES Alumni Award of Merit is well known. Bob Easter joined the Animal Sciences faculty in 1976 and has served as department head, dean, interim provost, interim chancellor, and president of the university at a time when the university administration was unsettled. He now holds the title of president emeritus. Bob was an early visitor to China when scientific and educational exchanges became possible and has returned dozens of times. His work in swine production has had international implications. Relatedly, he championed the addition of international representatives to the ACES Alumni Board of Directors. He advised 19 doctoral candidates, has co-authored a book on swine production, and he and his students have been responsible for 90 peer-reviewed articles, 11 book chapters, and numerous other publications. He has spoken to audiences in 30 countries. A nominator wrote, He made it a priority to spend time with alumni and industry supporters, resulting in expanded donations and several projects to support research and teaching. As president, during a time of substantial reductions in state funding, Bob put in place strategies to maintain the university status, but to enable the institution to grow to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Dr. Robert Easter is awarded an ACES Alumni Award of Merit. Recognized as a leader in the establishment of pet nutrition course in systems biology, Dr. John McNamara is one of this year's Alumni Association Award of Merit recipients. John has created a companion animal management course, one of the first of its kind in the U.S. This problem-solving course is a civic engagement class where students invest in many service activities. Students often comment on the value this course provides in applying their coursework to the real world. John was instrumental in encouraging the Department of Animal Science undergrads in the College of ACES to get involved in the Companion Animal Program in the 1970s. His effective leadership skills started the college's club, still a highly active organization today. John moved away from Champaign-Urbana to pursue his career in 1978 and has unfortunately not been able to remain as closely connected with the college as he would like. However, he has continued to bring honor and prestige to the college through his career, his research, undergraduate teaching, and service in companion animal biology. Dr. John McNamara, one of this year's Award of Merit recipients. Keith Parr was raised on a grain and livestock farm in Bond County and enrolled in the College of ACES in 1975. A member of Neighbor House, he was active in meat and livestock judging teams. He continued to be active in 4-H and FFA while at the university and represented the college as a student member of the Academic Senate. He was the fourth member of his family to attend ACES. Keith graduated from law school in 1981 and began his career at Lord Bissell and Brook in Chicago, where he represented underwriters at Lloyd's of London with their Seedsman's Errors and Omissions Insurance Program. He still represents Lloyd's in nearly all of their Seedsman's claims worldwide. 
While still representing a number of companies in the seed industry, Keith has litigated many notable market entry patent infringement cases. He's also helped develop several ethanol plants in the state of Illinois. Keith has served on the ACES External Advisory Committee and on the Illinois 4-H Foundation. Keith Parr, recognized with the ACES Alumni Association Award of Merit. Agriculture and the seed industry have been a part of Bob Wiffle's life for as long as he can remember. Growing up on a farm north of Atkinson, Illinois, Bob was involved in all parts of the growing seed business started by his parents. Bob's experience in the family seed business led him to attend the University of Illinois to study crop science. He and his older brother, Bill, decided to expand the business, and after he graduated in 1977, they broke ground on a new production facility. Wiffles Hybrids is now one of the largest independent seed corn companies in the industry. Bob and his wife, Vicki, have two children, Rachel and Jacob, both College of Aces graduates, and they are longtime supporters of the University of Illinois and the College of Aces. We are pleased to recognize the personal and professional contributions by presenting Bob Wiffles an Aces Alumni Association Award of Merit.